Uh, Maurizio, first of all, have you recovered? That was an incredible night. Yes. <laughs> we are here, and I'm here because I love this, this game, <laughs> football games and this type of game. You've been involved in some crazy matches throughout your career. How does that one compare, though, this evening? I think uh, because we were so competitive, two teams that wanted to win, and Tottenham arrived with full confidence, and for us it was a must-win game because we needed a three-point, and that is why what happened on the pitch after is, is history, but <laughs> I think it was an amazing game. It, it felt like a match that had everything. It was five goals disallowed, two red cards. How do you, how do the players manage to sort of keep any sort of semblance of composure in a yeah, match like that? But that is what we need to learn and to, you know, and to and to be clever in the way that we we need to manage and uh, the motion because uh, now with the VAR uh, start stop and in check in every single situation, I think it's, it's about to have better control and that is. Uh, we are there to try to help the team, you know, uh, to provide a good tool to manage um, the best the best way. How pleased were you though with the response following that early setback, the early goal? No, I think important. I think the team start uh, the game too much nervous, you know, and we cannot find to link, start to play. But I think after we concede the goal and and disallow the the second goal of Tottenham, I think we start to play and and similar to Liverpool that we deserve more. And, but today, I think we forced them to make, to make too many mistakes, and I think on the end, the team got what we deserve. Patience paid off. A hat trick for Nicholas Jackson. What will that do for his confidence? No, important, really important for him. I think it's, it's for all the players need the confidence to feel the confidence, and and of course, I think today was was a good a good step for him to to start to build his confidence, and for the fans and for everyone, you know, to to enjoy this this game. I know we've previously spoken about personality and experience. I have to ask you about Thiago Silva. From first minute to the last, he was very vocal. The, the leadership qualities were there tonight, weren't they? Yeah, yes, of course. He's an um, unbelievable player and really important for us. I mean, how do you even begin to sort of digest a, a game like this? And what do, you, what do you say to the players? Because these big games, they keep on coming, don't they? What I can say, only to congratulate because it was amazing. And, you know, uh, we needed a three point, but now we need to... I told uh, we need to go and to sleep because we need to recover from Sunday, you know. Nico, first of all, have you caught your breath back? What an incredible game that was. How was it from your side? Yeah, very, very happy, you know. Very, uh, it's a big game, London derby. So it's my first derby um, against Tottenham. So I'm very happy. We won and I scored a hat-trick. So I'm very happy for the team and everybody. And a first career hat-trick. It must be, I mean, what, what, <laughs> what more could you want? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> obviously, I should have scored four. But I don't know why I did go in. But, you know, we keep walking and forget about this game and continue to, continue to walk forward. Have you ever been involved in a game quite as crazy as that, though? Um, yeah, 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 I think uh, intense because obviously the atmosphere is different, but similar game, yeah. But the atmosphere of sports is amazing, and the fans, of the, their fans are really, really um, amazing. So, well, it's fine, you know, we won, so good. I think I made it five disallowed goals mm. throughout the game. Obviously, two sendings. Up. It felt like it was a match that had everything. Yeah, yeah, it was high intense. Everybody <laughs> was, you know. Um, tackles here, tackles there, you know, it's a crazy game. But this is the fans, the fans want to watch this, you know, every weekend. So when we provided that, so they're happy and everybody's happy, so it's fine. As players, how hard is it to maintain your composure and control when everything is happening like that around you? Yeah, it's, it's not easy. Huh? If watching from outside is difficult, but in, inside is, is hard. But this is our work and we work every day for this, to win this kind of games. So we're happy that we took the three points away. You mentioned the incredible atmosphere. It was a special moment with the supporters at the end of the match when you all went over to that corner. They played their part tonight, didn't mm. they? Yeah, yeah. They really, uh, thanks to, for, for me personally, thanks to the fans because they have been patient with me and helped me hit me a lot because I've been missing a lot of chance, you know. But, you know, everybody goes through difficulties like this and I'm very happy today, you know, I can show them what I can do and they, they will be happy. You mentioned the difficulties that you've had to overcome. What will this do for your confidence going into the rest of this season? Yeah, it will help me a lot because um, I, I was not, I was expecting this, you know, because Premier League is a high level, high is the biggest league in the world. So for now, you know, we score, we win today and we continue walking, you know, and we are very happy, very happy. And the small matter of Man City at the bridge at the weekend, yeah. same again? <laughs> I hope so, by God's grace, we'll see. Yeah, but we're going to work hard as always. Now we forget about this game, we move forward.